Hello developers, today I am going to explain how to earn revenue from your Android app which is nothing but how to integrate the Google Mobile Ads SDK into your Android app to display ads. This is the most requested topic from our channel viewers so I am going to make a series of videos on this topic from the ad mob setup to implementation of ads in the Android app. So please do watch all of them to understand the topic better. In this first video, we are going to learn how to configure our Android app for AdMob Ads implementation. Ok, let's get started. This is the Google AdMob's documentation page. We are going to follow the steps from this page. I will give this page link in the description box for your reference. The first step is App Prerequisites. Make sure that your app's build file uses the following values. Minimum SDK version of 21 or higher, Compile SDK version of 33 or higher. Ok, let's check. Go to Android Studio. Open the project in which you want to implement the AdMob ads. Go to Gradle Scripts. Open build.gradle file. Check the minimum SDK version. Yes, it is 21. And Compile SDK version has to be 33 or higher. My app is using 34. If your app is using Compile SDK version below 33, then update it to 33 or higher. The next step is set up your app in your AdMob account. Register your app as an AdMob app by completing the following steps. Sign in to or sign up for an AdMob account. Sign up for AdMob is simple if you already have Google account. Go to this AdMob site, sign into your Google account, enter the required details to verify your Google account. And finally, enter your payment details for monetization. But if you already have a Google Play Console account verified, then you can directly go for sign into AdMob account. If you want to know how to create Play Console account to publish your apps, watch this video. I will give the link in the description box. Okay, click on sign in, get started, select the Google account link to your Play Console account where you are going to publish your apps. This would be your AdMob account homepage. Go to apps. Currently there are no apps added to my AdMob account. Okay, next is register your app with AdMob. This step creates an AdMob app with a unique AdMob app ID. Ok, let's register the app. For that, click on add your first app button. Select the platform, Android. Is the app listed on a supported app store? If your app is a new app and not at published to play store, then select no. Or if your app was published to Google play store, then select yes. Now click on continue. Here search for your app in the play store. Enter your app name or package name. Click search. You may get the list of apps with the same name. Then you have to select your app from the list. If your app is in other Android stores like the Amazon App Store or Oppo Market etc. Then search your app from that particular app store. Then click on continue. Ok, this is the verification page. Check all the details and click on add app. Oh, we could not verify true Telugu translator, review and fix any app iPhone ads.txt issues. Ok, this is to verify your app uploaded to Play Store for app monetization. If you have not yet published your app in the Play Store, then you may not get this screen. Here basically we are going to mention our AdMob publisher ID in app iPhone ads.txt, upload the file to developer website and mention that website in our app store settings on Google Play console account. This is completely a different topic I will explain in my next video. For now close this verify app screen. Yes, app was added to Google AdMob. These are my app details added to AdMob. App name, app ID, app store details. This field will be empty if you don't have your app published to Google Play Store or any other app store. And app verification is pending. 
that is adding app-ads.txt to the developer website. This part I will explain in my next video. Okay, now we can finish mobile ads SDK integration in our Android app using this app ID. So, registering the app in AdMob and getting the AdMob app ID is finished. Next, configure your app. In your project level build.gradle file, include Google's Maven repository and Maven central repository in both your build script and all project section. Okay, go to the Android Studio, open projects build.gradle file. Okay, uh, you can't find repositories here. If you are using the Android Studio latest version, then you can find those build scripts in settings.gradle file. Here, check whether Google and Maven central repositories are added. If not added, add them to the repositories block. Next, add the dependencies for the Google Mobile Ads SDK to your modules app level Gradle file. That is modules build.gradle file. So, coming to coding part, first we need to add this Google Mobile Ads SDK library to the dependencies in build.gradle file. Open modules build.gradle file, go to the dependencies block, add the GMS library dependency here. Now sync the Gradle files. Ok, sync success. Now add your AdMob app ID as identified in the AdMob web interface to your app's android manifest.xml file. So we need to add app id as metadata in application tag. Go to android studio, open android manifest.xml. In the application tag, add this metadata code. Copy, paste it here. And we need to update this value with our actual app id from admob. Go to AdMob page, copy this app ID, paste it here. Ok, done. Now, the final step is initialize the Google Mobile Ads SDK. So, before loading ads, we need to first initialize the Google Mobile Ads SDK. If you are using Java, then copy from here or if you are using Kotlin for your app, then copy this code snippet. I am using Java language. So, copy this whole block and paste it in the first or main activity class. This need to be done only once, ideally at app launch. So, you can add this in your launch activity. Okay, this is my launch activity called on app open. So, I am adding it inside this on create method. Okay, clear the import errors. Yes, the initial integration part is done. And now, we are ready to implement the ads in our app. AdMob offers a number of different ad formats, banner ads, interstitial, native, rewarded and app open ads. You can choose the one that best fits your app's user experience. So, in today's video, we have covered app prerequisites, setting up the app in AdMob account, to get AdMob app ID, configuring the app in Android Studio by adding repositories, dependencies and app ID, then initializing the Google Mobile Ads SDK in the main activity. In the coming videos, I will show you how to implement the ads in our Android app. If you have not yet subscribed, subscribe to our IdeaCatech solutions to not miss those videos. Thank you.